It was the oddest estate sale that I have ever been to. I'm going to treasure a lot of the items. Welcome or welcome back. I'm Jen from Jen's House of Six. I'll try to talk loud. <laughs> this is a different view. I'm at my mom's and this. Oh, it's backwards. <laughs> this is my inventory. <laughs> this, that, and right there not not this stuff this is storage but anyways I have a $25 estate sale haul for you today you guys really loved the $20 yard sale haul so maybe I need to like put my totals on there and share with you guys how much it cost and all I got so some of it's here and some of it's at my house and so I'm gonna show you what's here and then I will show you what's at my house <laughs> all in this one video so let me get to that right now hopefully my audio is good I'll try to talk, talk louder I have a fan going over here so if you hear something that's what it is also many of you know but some of you may be new here I don't video at yard sales and estate sales I have gotten brave and asked if I could sometimes I wouldn't want random people to just come and video my house and my stuff so I don't do that to other people for privacy reasons because it's not my property it's not a public place so that's why I don't have footage of the actual yard sale so I was actually in Fair Oaks California I was going to my chiropractor and it's like three hours away from me and they had a random estate sale sign and I followed the sign you never know if the sign is old but it wasn't it was a Thursday and they were actually having an estate sale it was the oddest estate sale that I have ever been to I think it was a new company doing the estate sale and it was really sad because when I came in you know how estate sales work almost the whole house is open well the way they had this set up wasn't very well and it was like the poor woman passed away and they just opened up her house and only emptied a few things out on some tables but basically everything else you dug through and even her hospital bed with her bedding and blankets and her medications were still sitting out I'm still just blown away like that they would do that um it it was just really sad a lot of estate sales are because someone passed away i understand that but it was just sad like she was just there because like legit her medications were sitting out which wasn't safe <laughs> there was a lot of things not safe about this estate so it was real sketchy there was a leak in the house and the ceiling had caved in and they didn't even have it blocked off you could actually go in the room that the ceiling was caved in it was weird not safe they didn't empty the dresser drawers so you legit were digging and i i actually did i felt bad but i did it was the oddest estate sale i've ever been to and it it just wasn't a really good feeling almost made you feel like she didn't matter but she did matter like you know she wouldn't want people just coming and rummaging literally pulling out dresser drawers and rummaging through her things because the estate sale people didn't do their job and get it all out and honestly they were missing out on a lot of money because they didn't get everything out and have it set out on tables so you could see it because not everybody's gonna dig <laughs> it was just really really sad the whole situation and I don't even know the details. That was just what I walked into and saw with my own eyes. So yeah, anyways, but I did get a really good deal. And even though the lady doesn't know it, um, there are a couple of things that I brought home for myself that I will cherish forever. <laughs> like I'm never going to get rid of. So let me show you this haul. Okay, I don't think there is ever going to be an estate sale where you don't find some good Christmas. I feel like this is good Christmas. I hope the lighting in here is good. This is so cute, little holly. I haven't washed any of this stuff yet, so FYI. So these are just little holly, they're pottery, like handmade uh, candlesticks. And I thought they were so cute and unique. They're dirty, but still cute. And then I grabbed these. 
they're not the exact same green as which I'll show you like the greens are different but still so stinking cute I, I don't know why I love pottery stuff but like it'll be cute with like candy in there or something they're little sleighs there's the back I just thought they were really unique they're, they're dirty so if you see something on it it's dirty I think that is wax or something maybe there was a candle in there but super cute I looked around trying to find the comb and maybe the mirror that went to this but I couldn't find it this still had some hair in it which makes me kind of sad and I didn't even realize this you guys but it's in really good condition it's dirty oh, I'm not I'm probably keep saying that but these things are dirty I didn't realize like you could actually change uh, this brush like I did not know that that was like a thing so that is really cool so if you find an old one that needs a new brush and you want to like use it for a brush you actually can so that is a really cool feature on this brush you still have salt and pepper in them <laughs> but i think they're really pretty the crystal hobnail i don't even know if they're real crystal but i just really like the hobnail i think they're gonna wash up really well and be nice and shiny but i thought they were cute yeah. quite a bit of blue and white dishes and a lot of them were like kind of mismatched which i'm okay with but i did find a matching sugar and creamer set look you guys can see how dirty they are like this is really dirty so this says churchill england but this will kind of go with the stuff i found at that 20 dollars yard sale so this is a really cool that I found this kind of at the same time so I can display them all together in the booth which is what I bought these for I'm not planning on keeping them which I don't understand why this one has like the blue stamp and this one doesn't I don't know I found a bunch of these um, they call I googled them and they call these horse safety pins because they're big you guys so big uh i think they're cool now i on another video if you've been here long enough you know i found one of these out in my grandpa's field and it was all like rusted and i thought eh, i'll put it in the booth and see and i did and it sold so <laughs> hopefully these will too and then i got this one i don't know if this is really an actual old baby diaper pin but I just thought it was unique, so I grabbed these. Okay, out of all the mix match set, I did find a set of four, and these are Blue Danube. Now, I've heard the song <laughs> and heard the name, but I never had seen the dishes. So they say Blue Danube Registered U.S. Patent Office. They're in excellent condition. There are no chips or anything on them. It's the set of four. So I got the four teacup saucers. The four, I don't know what you call these bread plates, but there's four of those. And then a set of four, I'm guessing these are dinner plates, even though they're a little bit smaller. I guess maybe people ate less portions way back in the day. And then that's not all. I also got the matching teacups, which are right here. And let me show you one up close. I think the handle on them are super cute. I'm sorry, the lighting in here is just not great. Like natural lighting is way better. But isn't that so cute? How it has like the little leaf. And then this sits on here like this. Super pretty. More of that holly stuff. And I've decided that I'm going to keep this. And I may change my mind. But isn't it so pretty? And they're all just like a different. Let me show you all together. Just a little bit different shade of green. But I don't even care. Like it's just so fun. So I love this. This is like a little cake tiered pl cake plate. And it's got the holly and I love it. I've never seen anything like it. And this is the bottom. It says Hol Holland mold. And even this part right here, which you can't see very great in this lighting, 
It's got little leaves all around it. The only thing on it is it has this little tiny chip right there and right there, but I feel like I could get some green, even a mark and right here, a little green marker and just mark that in and you wouldn't even notice. Isn't that so cute? So as for right now, I think I'm gonna keep this for my own self for Christmas, but I may end up changing my mind and I know I won't lose on this because I've never seen anything like this. It's so cute. These are just random things. These are not name brand. These are not the real deal, but she had a lot of scarves and this is a faux fake uh, designer inspired uh, Chanel scarf and it's like a, a silver blue color. It's really big. So I tried to list these on Marketplace to make a little bit of money on because I don't personally want them for myself, but I bought them for resale and I wasn't going to try to sell them like they're real because I know they're not, but um, Facebook Marketplace will not let you put knockoffs on there. So I'll probably have to yard sell these, but I bought these for, for resale. Only. And here's another one. It's a Louis Vuitton uh, design inspired. It's not the real thing. I googled all these. This one's large as well. Very colorful. I do like Louis Vuitton, but this color is not my style. If it had been the brown and the cream, I, or the brown and the gold, I would have totally have kept it. These look really cute. There's so much you could do with these scarves. You wrap them around their purse handles or the way you can wear them on you is super cute. So many different ways you can then, use them. She actually had two of these and the other one was all like falling apart like that. The design on here was like peeling off. So I didn't grab it. This is also not real. This is a fake but I bought it for resale. I almost kept it, but I'm not crazy about this style of wallet for myself. Um, but it's in really good condition. It does have a little bit of peeling right there and some cracking right there, right there too, but it's in overall pretty good condition. And I'm gonna try to resell this because even the fake ones are worth some money said earlier I found a couple of things at this yard sale that I plan on keeping myself probably forever <laughs> this is one of them I have been hoping to find one of these for a really long time this is a wooden book stand and it's just really pretty okay my grandma has one of these and she's had a family Bible, the large, it's like this thick family Bible sitting in it. And I know I may could possibly end up with hers, but I probably won't. <laughs> My dad will probably keep it. So I am keeping this one. And if I thrift another one, I may end up keeping that one too. <laughs> but I love this piece and I was so happy to find it. It's in excellent condition as well, as you guys can see. Here's another piece that I am keeping. I told you all in another video that I'm really wanting to learn how to do the fancy coffees. And I, I just need a blue and white little creamer to pour and make my fancy coffee top, you know, the design that I still don't know how to do. <laughs> but I'm hoping to learn one day, but I love blue and white. And this is just so cute and petite. And I don't even know that it's anything. There's like no marking on it, but I just think it's adorable. It was really dirty. I washed this one at home. I actually brought it over here just to show you guys. And then the other things I am going to video and show you because they're pretty big. I saw this beautiful set folded up in a dresser drawer and I knew that brand Adriana Papel just from a couple of friends that were dress shopping for their children's weddings. 
So it would make a beautiful mother of the bride or mother of the groom dress for a wedding. It's really pretty and fancy. I did try it on and the top fit me, but the skirt did not. So I am going to put it for sale and probably make a couple dollars on it. It's just really gorgeous. And then I wonder like, where did she wear this to? What event was there that she wore this outfit? These are the next two items that I picked up. They were brand new, 100% cotton aprons from World Market. You could tell that they had never been washed or worn. So I grabbed both of those for myself and my daughter. I plan on keeping these and using them for many, many years to come. I have been looking for an apron like this one and it's just absolutely perfect. I was very, very happy to find this and I think it might bring a smile to her face knowing that I love it so much and will wear it. Also, thank you to my son for filming this for me. <laughs> he had to give it his thumbs up. This is the next item that I could not believe I found. It was in the closet, still folded up. Yes, it is a funeral flag from someone that was in the service and it was folded up in the triangle that they folded, you know, I just know from my grandpa's funeral they gave him a flag like this and it's a really nice flag because every color is its own piece of fabric and that's how you know that the flag is a really nice and pricey probably flag. It's just huge. I have three kids back there holding that flag up just to show you. You can see how much room it takes up in my living room. And it was really sad, but also I will treasure this flag forever. I don't ever plan on getting rid of it. And on that note, I also found another old flag and this one is made the same. Each piece is individually sewn and I love the stain color of it. Um, just the, with age, I guess, the color that it's turned that creamy tea stained color I should say. I love this flag. I was so happy to find it. I just couldn't believe that I found two at one place and this one is in the box and it's clean and nice and I don't think I'll be using it outside because I don't want to rent it but I will display it somewhere inside and I don't plan on ever getting rid of this flag. my $25 estate sale haul. I feel like I got a really great deal. The reason I know that these estate sale people, besides the fact of how the sale was set up, were not super professional <laughs> is because I had everything sitting on the table and they came over and they didn't even like lift it up and look through everything. They just looked at my pile and said uh, $25 and I was just like okay <laughs> so with I have a habit that I do on purpose when I go to a yard sale or an estate sale I do not bring my wallet in I look through and if I find something that I feel is worth the effort of walking all the way back to my vehicle to get my wallet and come back and pay for it, then I know it's really worth it. So I don't do an impulse buy. And even then, I still kind of do impulse buys, but I have gotten a lot better by knowing, like, is this worth walking all the way back to my car? Because usually there's a lot of people there and I have to park kind of far away. So I always ask myself, is it worth walking back to my 
truck to get my wallet for. So <laughs> this definitely was. Um, I, you guys can let me know what your favorite item was. I wish I could have shown you the inside of this house, but then again, no, because out of respect for the woman, even though she's passed, it was really, really sad. And it just makes you think, you know, with our stuff, like that's how it's gonna be. Whether they set it up nicely or they just open the door and let you come in and dig through your things. So it really makes me, whenever I go to an estate sale, like that one mindful of my things and what I bring in and like you know do I want people sifting through my things or putting a burden on someone else to take care of my stuff even though the woman doesn't know it I really am going to treasure a lot of the items that I got from her sale thank you guys so much for watching if you like videos like this please consider subscribing. Hit that little bell so you don't miss out on any future notifications. Give it a thumbs up and you're welcome to comment down below. I love reading your comments. I don't know what I'll be doing on the next video, but we will both find out together. Until then, bye.